everyone once again it's a week um this time this week for our our um journey um you know for our guided meditation and you know i'm really happy this week we're going to be looking at the earth star chakra why have i chosen that i don't actually know it's just what popped into my head earlier on today well actually tonight because as per usual i channel everything when I looked at, um, when I think about the Earth Star Chakra, what do we mean by that? We mean that's an energy center that's just below, hi Margaret, and um, that's just below our feet. Um, it's about six inches below our feet. Hi Sarah. Um, and when we're looking at that, we think, well, okay, what is it? You know, we've heard of it, but, but what actually does it do? Well, it is our grounding. It is our grounding to the planet. Um, it is looked after. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Zoe. <laughs> um, hi, Zoe. I think. Hi, Ross. <laughs> oh, it's lovely that you're joining me tonight. <laughs> um, and we're we're literally looking at the, the one of the new. Uh, sorry, one of the new because I'm talking to people on here now, so as well. So I just lost my thoughts a little bit. Let me just reconnect. So when we're looking at the Earth Star Chakra, we're looking at our energy centers that's within the ground. It is our grounding. Once that is really fully opened, we no longer need to ground ourselves. Once that is really fully opened it will automatically be ground you, you will automatically be grounded to this higher Karina, <laughs> um to this planet it's interesting about this th th this chakra because our archangel sandalphon the wonderful archangel sandalphon he looks after this and he you know our, our meditation tonight i have a feeling he's going to be working with us tonight on on this chakra one of the things that I want to say is that, you know, once we we do this <clears throat> and start to open it up, lots of other feelings come come in with it. I'll give you an example. Have you ever been? Have you ever felt drawn to a country or drawn to, you know, another part of England or or feel you've got to go and see a place or something like that? You know. Very often what this is actually telling us is that your earth star chakra is beginning to open. And when it opens, it sends in these messages to us. It's telling us you need to go there because there is light codes that need to be brought down. Once you're there, your chakra then can really open. The codes can come in and ground itself within that, that place, wherever it is that you've chosen to go. Example for myself recently... I have this big pull to go to America. I, I, I just sense I need to feel, I, I, I need to go for some reason. For Krina, it's India. She She's felt that she's needed to go to India. And, and, and have you ever felt that? This is because your Earth Star Chakra is now trying to open up. And it's interesting because you, you have that that pull, that connection, that you 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 feel it within yourself that there's something, but you don't know what it is. Well, these are the messages we're beginning to receive because we've moved into this fifth dimension, and the blueprint has all been um it has been settled within this planet. We're embedding it, so it's such an interesting time because you know the Earth Star Chakra is we learn to apply the information to our current lives then. So we will get sort of downloads, information, and then we can apply it to our own lives. This energy center also encourages to reflect, reflect back on what you've learned. And hence, I think this is why we're also going through that time as well, you know, of being stopped, being slowed down. It's time for that reflection. It's time for us to look at, you know, ourselves and we need to be working from that heart center we need to be you know going within and really learning how we we ourselves who we are as people never mind your neighbors you need to look at you 
you know, your heart. What does it all mean for you? And it's really also interesting, you know, that when this chakra opens, there's so much more light that comes into you. Your growth, your spiritual growth your, grows. It, it magnifies. It, it, it goes ballistic. So you will start to feel um, as if you're drawn to quite a lot of things or, you know, spiritual things or aspects that you've never been drawn to before. This is your earth star starting to open. This is. And when you see, when you have that, this is your fifth dimensional energies begin your ascension pathway really beginning to embed itself for you as a person i want to say to you as well <clears throat> excuse me crystals are a great thing they are you know that they really help you to attune actually i think i had one do you know tonight i've lost everything i even lost my phone tonight i had to get my daughter to phone me find out where it was <laughs> but i'm just saying um you know, use crystals to help you, um, to, to help with, with this in, embedding of this, this chakra. Now, you might say, well, okay, well, why, why do I do that? Because when we start to really open up this chakra, our life starts to change in a different way. We, we tend to, as I said, the, you know, your spiritual side starts to grow, but you start to also see things in a different light. And it's, you know, these, last week we talked, did we not, we did a meditation, which I thought was absolutely fascinating. With my circle group this week, we broke that down. And we looked at the past, the present and the future of this pandemic. Well, as I said, we broke that down in the week. And it was an amazing experience as to what they got. Because now they fully understand their life path. And so we can do that. You can certainly do that yourself. But if you're looking, when we're looking at the Earth Star, these have been given us back to propel us forward into this fifth dimensional age and the new golden age. What I want to say to you tonight, and we're going to start it in a minute. <clears throat> we need, you know, all through our new chakras, and we've been given these back, as you know, I've talked about these. These chakras, each one has an archangel that looks after them. And one tonight that we're going to be looking at is the Archangel Sandalphon. He is one of them that actually walked this earth. He has actually had a body. So, you know, he will also have that inner child as well. Because it's part of anybody who's incarnated on this planet has that. So he will also have that. So he's had to, but he's also learnt new wisdom. We need to learn new wisdom. We need to look at ourselves in a totally different way. We need to start learning how to communicate with each other in a much more loving way and, and not judgmental. We, we, this whole planet at the moment is going through a major, major change. And tonight, all we're going to do is we're just going to send a bit of light to whatever it is you're feeling. So I don't know where what you're connected with, but you do. So I'm hoping they're going to take us there, but I don't know. So let's begin, shall we? So if we get, if we end up going to the country that you're drawn to, take we'll see what happens. If not. Archangel Sandalphon is in charge. We'll do what he says, okay? So let's be led by him. Okay, so when you're ready, close your eyes. And just breathe. Just feel your breath. And the days, worries and the stresses just leaving your body. Just allow yourself to feel your shoulders drop.
Now I want you to take your attention to the soles of your feet. And I want you to see golden roots grow from the soles of your feet. Push them deep into the ground. And as we push them deep into the ground, you see them thicken. And many more branches grow. See them push down past the lava rocks. And Mother Earth's many jewels, those beautiful crystals. Push them deep and deep. Until you come to the centre of the earth. And when you come to the centre of the earth, you will see a beautiful crystal. I want you to wrap those roots around that crystal that have thickened and grew many others, other branches. Now we ask Lady Gaia to touch those branches. And let her energy, her heartbeat, pulsate all the way up those roots, opening the chakras as we go. The earth, the star, the base, the sacral, the navel the solar plexus and resting in the heart. Now above, <clears throat> we ask Archangel Metatron to bring down from source his gold and silver energy. Allow it to flow through the stellar gateway, which is 12 inches above your head. And your soul star, your causal, your crown, your third eye, your throat, and let it go into the heart with Mother Earth's. Now, allow that energy to mingle and then spread out into every cell of your body and as it does it illuminates every cell. Feel it. Feel it going through every part of your body right down to the top of your head, right up to the top of your head to the tips of your toes. Down your arms, your fingers, the whole of your body. Now let it seep out into your aura until you become a beautiful ball of gold and silver light. Now we call upon Archangel Michael and we ask him, to place a sphere of blue sapphire blue light all around you. Literally covering you and your aura. And know that you are protected. And we're going to call in the angels of protection to surround your room. And as they do this, they open their wings and cocoon you, keeping you in a bubble of safety. And we call for Archangel Metatron once again and ask him to bring down his cue and place it over your home. 
and its perimeter. And again, know that all that was within, within your home is safe. And with every breath you take, your aura expands. And we're going to call in Archangel Sandalphon. Or any other higher being that wishes to work with us tonight. And they come with love, light and truth. Now find yourself barefoot and walking in a field that is lush and green. Find yourself feeling beneath your feet the softness of the grass. And the sun is shining on your back. And you can hear the whisper of the, of the trees. And you feel so relaxed. Just walking along this beautiful field. Look around you. Can you see? In the distance, what do you see? I see mountains. I see beautiful mountains. And I can hear music. Can you hear the soft sounds that are around you? Just listen. There's beautiful sounds that are tinkling in the wind. The sounds of nature. The sounds of all the elements coming together, resonating with each other. And suddenly, Archangel Sandalphon stands beside you. And he wishes to take you on a journey. You find yourself. deep in Mother Earth. Deep down into her many crystals. Everywhere you look, there is crystals. And you can feel the energy and the power of these crystals that are Gently, the waves coming towards you. It's the power of the earth. And Archangel Sandalphon smiles at you. And he looks at you. And he tells you. That your energy center, the Earth Star Chakra, he wishes to place a ball of white light. And suddenly in his hands appears this beautiful white light shimmering, speckles sparkling. Wow, it's a beautiful light. It's now being placed 
in your earth star chakra. And this is lighting you up. You feel it. You feel the grounding of the earth, of the planet. You can feel the strength, the love, the power of the earth. And these beautiful crystals around you start to shimmer. And you find yourself now in a country that you've often thought of or that resonates with you or you feel the need to go to. Archangel Sandalphon is going with you. He's asking you to believe in yourself and believe that this is where you are meant to be. And you are transported to that country. And as you are standing there, no one can see you, you can see all around you. Archangel Sandalphon is smiling and telling you that this is part of your journey, your life's purpose to do this. He tells you that he is happy to stand beside you. And as you stand on the earth of that place that you are drawn to, suddenly you see beams of light appearing from above. And these beams of light are being sent to you. And as they travel through you, deep down into the earth star chakra, those codes are being sent into the earth. Illuminating light. And opening up. Your earth star chakra. Full of light. Archangel Sandalphon. Smiles. And this is what you have now planted in this country, your place where you were supposed to be. I'm going to leave you there for a few minutes for you to be able to take in what it means. Ask your questions about Archangel Sandalphon. Why? Why this country? Why this place? What does it mean for you? Ask him. Do not be afraid to get your answers.
now that you have your answers. Archangel, Archangel Metropol, sorry, Archangel Sandalphon. is telling you that you've been gifted. And as you slowly return to those beautiful crystals within Mother Earth, they are brighter. They appear brighter to you know. They appear calmer. Energy is so loving. Archangel Sandalphon takes you now back to the field. And as you walk, you notice you are leaving golden footsteps on the planet. And in front of you now appears a swing. And he asks you to sit on the swing. And as you sit on the swing, you can see that everything around you is shimmering. Even Archangel Sandalphon, your energies have just risen so much now. Your vibration is high. And as you look around you, you see the landscape has changed. It's no longer mountains, but you see the sea. You're still in the field looking over the cliff top, out at sea. And you see the sun is slowly setting. And you feel complete. You feel your earth star chakra's light pulsated through your body keeping you grounded now and that light shining brightly for you but within the ground as the earth star chakra is black and white it merges together to become one with the earth keeping you and your light completely grounded. You're standing there now, smiling. And you know you've just gone through a transformation. You know that you've just been blessed. Archangel Sandalphon tells you it's time to leave and for you to return. And you smile and you thank him. And he places in your hand a gift. A gift that is a symbol, a symbol 
that has resonated for you. Time to say goodbye and return to this space and time knowing that your earth star chakra is fully embedded now and that your work for it to be truly open is just beginning. And when you're ready, bring yourself back to this space and time, into your chair, your room, and just take some deep breaths and come back. Wiggle your toes. Wiggle your fingers. And if you need to take some water, then please do. Hi, Anne. When you're ready, can you please let me know you're back? Just let me know. Trying to bring yourself back. Hi, Jane. Glad you're back, Mandy. And others, let me know. Hi, you're back, Ross. That's brilliant. Sorry, are you back? Margaret, you're back, brilliant. Zoe, are you back? If not, start to bring yourself back. If any of you would like to share what you've had, Please, please send it, send it in or type it up or ask any questions. I'm happy to help. Give yourself a few minutes. Zoe, are you back? Did you do the meditation and are you back? Can you just please let me know? Please. Does anybody want to ask any questions? Sarah, did you do it? Did you do the meditation? Well, okay. Maybe they didn't do it. <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure. Mandy, maybe you could let me know. Um, but hopefully you, you know, you sort of followed through with the meditation. What I got, I gave to you. I just was 
finding the whole thing was just on a very much an energy level rather than a physical. It was like as if we were an energy going through everything. This was my, what I was seeing, how I was feeling. It was as if I was being transported and my energy was tra being transported to America and I was doing mine there. I was seeing it and the codes were like beams that were coming through you know from above and through me straight through to the earth star chakra like codes and I seen a symbol the symbol was curled like this and then it was straight straight down like a note like as if you were seeing a, a musical note um did anybody else experience anything that um they want to share with us I would love to hear please no okay <laughs> you're all very quiet you know it'd be really great if you could talk to me i would love that you know because i'm very interested in hearing about your experiences i know maybe sometimes these are personal and maybe you don't want to but you know please pm me uh privately if you don't want to talk to me over facebook live i mean th there's more or email me and i'm really really happy to respond back to you Tonight's meditation was all about opening up this Earth Star Chakra because once we do our evolution as personally for ourselves, really gets to start. The massive changes start to come towards you then. And it is these chakras need to be worked. Um, these, it's so our first one that we worked on and we will be working on more and, and understanding why we've, we've been given this back and I think it is like naturally our DNA and as you know this whole um, planet is is changing and it's not just about the changes that we're experiencing it's about our growth now it's more about how we grow and we live in these th these times things are tired uh, do you Ross do you feel quite tired Sometimes that is quite normal, you know. I mean, if you can't, if you don't feel grounded, then, you know, do take a little bit of a walk. But I know, I know sometimes when you come back from meditation, it, it can be quite tiring. And you see, we go quite deep and quite far as well. It's, it's you know, so the, the meditation is quite, it's, it's quite high vibration that I take you to. So I, I can understand that, Ross. You know, yeah, have a cup of tea. <laughs> well, that's what I'm going to do. Um, but is there any questions you would like to ask? Because next week, what I'd like to do, I'd like to post up some questions um, to see what you want from this session yourselves. Um, is there anything that you want me to look at or to do a meditation on that will help you personally? Please PM me and, you know, tell me what it is you would like and I will do a guided meditation, a channeled meditation around that. Wow. Wow, Ross, that's brilliant. The shape of an egg. The colour was very... Uh, it's got see more, but it won't let me see any more at the moment on, on here. I'll have to have a look afterwards. Margaret, that is absolutely fantastic. I mean, to have that egg shape, that's, that's the start of life, isn't it? We, You know, if you think about that egg... And was it all of the colours of the, you know, sort of the bright and, and colours of the rainbow, but shimmering? Because this is the new birth, isn't it? So that is fantastic. If I'm wrong, you know, please PM and tell me because I'm happy to be wrong if I am. But, you know, to me, that is fantastic. That shape that was gifted to you. You've got a new start, Margaret. There's a new beginning. This birth, this birth is being given to you right now. I would say you've been given a little bit of, um, yes, 
absolutely brilliant um so i i would say for you that you know the egg shape is is got to be the new birth but if it was full of light and full of colors these are the new colors that you're working on you in other words your vibration your you know you've raised it margaret you've raised your vibration to a point where you know you, you'll see things different you you're really beginning to work these new energies that are on earth which is fantastic and i'm so happy for you to have been given that because you know the earth star chakra is about the new way of of um, working with energies it's making sure that we bring in those christ, christ conscious energies along with the new energies of the golden age of aquarius and and bringing it together and you know, your new birth is just for you. I want to say this, Margaret, as well, okay? I, I feel this is just something that I'm feeling uh, as I'm... Hi, Emma. Lovely to have you with us, all of you. But, Margaret, I feel you're very sensitive to all of this as well. This is just my feeling that I'm getting, it. you know, I'm... I'm linking in with you and i just feel as though there's a lot more to come from you margaret there's a lot more to come and i think you know it and i also think you've been visiting another country tonight am i right just just say yes or no please for me margaret didn't feel you were here in this country So if you could just let, you were here in this, you, did you, so you, I'm not right. Is that what you're saying? You, you were here, you actually, in the meditation, you actually didn't visit another country. So am I right? Because I sense with you, Margaret, that there's another country that you're drawn to. But you're not, often you've thought about this country and wanted to go, but you don't know why. That's what I felt with you. Am I right or am I wrong? I've got, sorry about that. <laughs> got something wafting in front of me. Not particularly. Okay, so maybe it's one of the others I'm picking it up on then because I feel as if, there's something with you, Mar Margaret, with this. There's something with another country for you. L leave that with me. I will work on that for you and see whether I get a proper answer because I actually do feel there's some connection with another country. And I want to go to Africa. Af they're giving me Africa for you. So I don't know why. Maybe it's an animal there that you're you're connected with or something, but there is something there. And it's to do with Africa. So maybe it's an animal that you're connected to. Um, so please let me know whether I'm right or wrong on that one as well. Um, like I said, I just give what I get. Okay. Is there any questions anybody wants to ask me? Anybody want to ask me anything? I'd love to know, as I said, what what you've got, so that I could at least have an insight into what you're you're getting. Um, as so, I've got, I think it's a moth around me <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to close you down now. Okay, so let's close you down. Please find yourself once again, closing your eyes. And just relax. Take your attention to the soles of your feet and just reaffirm those roots.
and take your attention to your stellar gateway and we're going to close it like a flower and then place a symbol that resonates with you in front of it and we're going to do that for each one but when it comes to the third eye and down to the right down to the sacral is front and back so close the stellar gateway and place your symbol close your soul star and place your symbol Close your causal and remember that moves behind your head. Feel it. Close and place your symbol. Close your crowd. And place your symbol. Your third eye front and back now. Close and place your symbol. Your throat. Close and place your symbol. Your heart. Close and place your symbol. Your navel. Oh, sorry, solar plexus. Close and place your symbol. Your navel. Close and place your symbol. Your sacral. Close and place your symbols. Your base, which is between your legs. Close and place your symbol. Your earth star chakra is now open. And you are grounded. Now pull in your aura to a size that is suitable for you to continue your day and your evening. To a size that suits you. We ask Archangel Michael to just check it. And make sure that there's no tears or attachments. And if there is, he will deal with them. We ask him to deal with them. And then we ask him to place his blue cloak of protection around you. And as he does this, he seals it. And as he pulls the hood over, he incorporates all of the chakras in the aura, along with the crown and third eye. Seal the cloak, Archangel Michael. And we thank Archangel Sandalfon for being with us tonight and working with us. And we ask that you now step safely back into the spirit world and anyone else that joined us. And when you are ready, you can open your eyes, wiggle your feet, and know that you are clearly back and protected. Well, <laughs> tonight has been brilliant. I've loved every minute of it. And Ross, that's brilliant to get a clear crystal ball. It, it just, you know, the, the whole whole thing is, is that the, the Earth Star Chakra is light 
it is a clear in clear color in it is actually black and white in color so but it, you see it merges together to become the same color then as a gray color and it merges in with the earth and as it, it becomes part of the earth and when it does it you know it pulsates to all of the power within the earth so that you are grounded totally all all the time so i think it's lady um seraphine seraphine bay that actually looks after that also you know the, the fact that you've been given a crystal ball you know this is see your future do you know what i'm saying this is a fantastic gift it's like have a look into the future have a look into that ball and see what you see it also means, because a crystal ball is a tool as well, it's your third eye. Start using your third eye. Um, I find it fascinating that we each receive something because we don't always, we don't always have to be given something, but we always tend to be come back with something for ourselves. Um, please do as i said pm me i'd love to know more of what you've experienced what it helps me uh you, you know to to connect with you more because all i see is a name and a face but it would be really nice to be able to connect on a much more energetic way margaret i you, you say not particularly i look at that and you know and i think to myself okay i'm not having that with you at the moment and I would really love to have a more of a connection of a, um, to, to know exactly what um, you've had. Because this is not, for my own personal sense, what I'm sensing for, for you is that there is something, that, you know, that um, for another country. I don't know what it is, but I, I can't get away from that. But I also understand that you, you're saying no to that. So, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Um, so, but, so please PM me and I'd love to have a chat with you about it, okay? And Ross, that's brilliant that you've got that, that clear uh, crystal. And, you know, if nobody else has got anything to say, then, you know, I will end this session. Um, and hopefully we'll do it again next week and we'll be looking maybe at another chakra. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing, um, but I find that fascinating as well because I just go with the flow in life. If that's where they want to take me, that's where I'm going to go. And I hope you all do the same. Okay, so until next time, keep a look out on Facebook for the posts and I will speak to you again soon. But please, please do PM me. Okay, thank you. Bye.